In today's short video, we're going to talk about your oscilloscope's vertical position and vertical offset controls. The position control is quite obvious. It just simply adjusts the vertical position of the trace on the screen. The offset control is a little more subtle. It also allows you to adjust the position of your waveform up or down, but it does so by essentially adding or subtracting a DC value from your waveform, effectively changing the scope's reference level instead of the reference level being ground. This will become more obvious when we take a look at an example. Now where is this useful? It can be really useful to help you observe small varying signals that are riding on top of a larger DC bias. So let's take a look at an example and this should all fall into place for you. So the example we have set up on the breadboard here is this very simple little uh, amplifier circuit. There's a bias that's set up at the base of this transistor that's uh, a little over 800 millivolts. Leaves us about 200 millivolts or so sitting at the emitter. And with these resistor values uh, and running with a 5 volt supply, gives us at about a 2.7 volt bias at the output here at the collector. And uh, the way I've got the signal source set up here, we're going to have about uh, a 200 millivolt signal sitting and riding on top of this 2.7 volt bias. So now before we power up the circuit, let's take a look at what we've got on the scope screen. Uh, we see this small indicator uh, right here on the left side of the display. That's our reference indicator, uh, in this case for channel 1. If I adjust the position on the channel, up or down, I can move that reference level wherever I'd like it to appear on the screen. And that's quite simply the position control. If I position that right in the center, uh, then that means that that point right there is ground. I'm running at 1 volt per division. So this can represent up to plus or minus 5 volts with respect to ground. So let me start by turning the power supply on on the circuit. And now I can actually see the DC value of the voltage at the collector of my amplifier. And again, we're at 1 volt per division. So we can see there's our 2.7 volt DC offset, essentially, or DC level that's appearing at my collector output. I'll turn my signal generator on here. And now I can actually see the output coming from the amplifier is a small, about 200 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak signal that's riding on top of that 2.7 volt bias that's sitting at the collector. Now in order to expand the signal vertically, we need to change the vertical scale of the scope. If I go from 1 volt per division to 500 millivolts of division, my signal just shot off the top of the screen because now it's 500 millivolts per division starting at this reference point of ground. So I can really only see up to 2.5 volts. So my signal is sitting just above the top of the screen. So I need to move my vertical position control down so I can bring my signal back on again. So now at 500 millivolts of division, I can now see my signal riding on top of that 2.7 volt bias and it appears twice as big. Now I run into a problem if I try to take this one more step. If I go to 200 millivolts of division, again my signal shot off the top of the screen because I'm going 200 millivolts of division from my reference point. If I bring my position control all the way down to the bottom of the scope screen here, I still don't have enough range because at uh, 200 millivolts of division, 10 divisions, the top of the screen is 2 volts. I know my signal is sitting at 2.7 volts, which is up there somewhere. Now I know what you're thinking, you might say, well, why don't you just use AC coupling? If I go to my vertical channel and change the coupling to AC and move my position in the middle, now I can actually see my signal right here in the middle and I can adjust the scale all I want. And that works fine if all you're interested in is looking at the AC content of the signal. But once you AC couple the scope, you lose all the information about where the DC level is of that waveform in the, in the circuit. And there might be situations where you actually want to monitor not only the AC content of the waveform, but its DC bias level and where it is uh, with respect to your power supply rails. It could be that the amplifier is part of an AGC control circuit uh, and you want to see to make sure you don't run out of steam in that amplifier. It could also be that you're looking at, say, ripple on a power supply and you want to look at how the ripple changes with load current and how the DC voltage changes with load current. Uh, and by AC coupling, you lose that ability. So we need another solution and that other solution is offset. Okay, so we're back to where we started. One volt per division here. Uh, DC coupled and I can actually see my signal riding on the 2.7 volt bias. Now in this scope, in the vertical menu, 
I can go here to select offset. Now what offset will do is change where the reference level is for that channel. Uh, with the offset set to zero volts, that means that the reference point is at zero. And when I adjust my scale, it's adjusting around that point, that point staying in the same spot on the scope screen. But if I change that vertical offset to some other value, I can move that waveform up or down. Now in my case, I know I want it to be exactly 2.7 volts, so I'll just dial that in. And notice how that now the reference point is sitting right in the middle of my waveform. Because that reference point now, instead of representing ground, is representing 2.7 volts. So now if I adjust my vertical scale, I'm just centering around that reference point. So I can adjust that all I want now, and I've got all the sensitivity I want, and I know not only where the DC level is of this waveform, because it's at there's my there's 2.7 volts, I also know the AC content. So now that solves that problem that I had if I just simply reverted to using AC coupling. I can monitor both the varying or AC content of the waveform as well as the DC level. And that quite simply is all that the offset is, is the ability to change the reference level or essentially the zoom reference of the channel you know, for uh, adjusting the channel scale. So for example, if the DC level of this waveform changed, uh, say like this, I'm just varying the power supply voltage going to my amplifier, I can see the DC level change as well as my AC content change, uh, if there was any, uh, at the same time. If I was AC coupled, I wouldn't see this DC shift in that waveform up or down as I rock the power supply up or down. So as you're doing analog design, you may find that it's uh, very helpful sometimes to be able to see both the bias level and the AC or signal content of your signal simultaneously. And the offset capability of the scope can be very handy for this. Anyway, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and tell your friends. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.